Right, okay, I'm going to show you how to make a simple banner in Fireworks today for a website. So I'm going to load up Fireworks. If you're on a school computer, it's all programs, core programs, Macromedia Fireworks 8. You may have to press OK a load of times when the message comes up. I don't need it, fortunately. So, in here I'm going to make a new canvas, which is going to be 800 wide, which is a good, a good width for a web page. And I'm going to make the height to be 150 pixels. The resolution is going to be 72, and I'm going to leave it transparent for a minute and press OK. So as you can see there, that is going to be the width of my banner for my website. I'm going to do one for the school, so I'm going to put the school logo in. So to get the picture in, I'm going to go File, Import. It goes into the folder which I've already made. There's, there's the logo there, New Crossy Logo, and I'm going to double click on that. Or open it up, and I'm going to drag it in. So it goes into the corner of my banner. Okay. So on here, what I'm going to do, I think I'll go, just for the purpose of this, I'm going to go and have a blue background. So I'm just going to choose a blue. That'll do. And I tell you what, let's get rid of the white background on the image. I'm using the magic wand tool up here. Okay. You can change the tolerance. The tolerance means the number of nearest colors is going to find. So if I click on the white bit, there we go. You can see it's selecting everything there. Press delete. That gets rid of the background for me. And if I press escape, that will then um, stop the magic wand tool from working. If I zoom in, because as you can see here, I've got still got little bits of white in the letter. So I'm just going to get rid of those. Use the magic wand tool again. Delete. I get rid of the bit in the R, maybe, delete, delete the O, delete, around the E, delete, delete, and delete, okay, not so bad around there, a little bit in here I want to get rid of, delete, and even though it looks pixelated now, it's because I'm zoomed in at 300%, so even when I finish doing this, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of shadow, so that's going to make it look that the white bits on the outside won't be so obvious. So that's okay. I think I don't think I'm going to get much of there. So I can press escape now. In the filters here, I'm going to go shadow and glow, glow, and I'm going to go for a white glow because then that means you can't see the edges so bad. And if I lower that down a little bit, hmm, I don't know, maybe five is the one. There we go. And if I zoom back out to normal 100%, there we go, it looks, doesn't look too bad at all. So, there's my logo, I'm going to use the text tool now, and I'm going to write the Crossy Kiliog School. So, C-R-O-E-S-Y, C-I-L-I-O-G. Okay. I don't need this frames window, so I'm just going to minimise that out of the way. Black arrow to select anything. I can move this. I've obviously got my slider here for the font size. Let's go... 96 is obviously too big. Let's try about 70. So, here we go. Don't think I'll use this font. I think I'm going to go for Century School Book. There we go. And I think I'll make it a little bit smaller again. Let's try 65, is it? There we go. So, there's my text. Obviously, I can make it bold if I want. Mm, I will make it bold and I'll make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And what I'm going to do is put an outline around it. So I'm going to go for a white text, I think. And let's put a... Let's try black outline first of all. Mm, let's try dark navy. There we go. And if I want to, I'm going to go back onto there, stroke options, and make it a little bit thicker. There we go. And back onto the filters now. I'm going to go shadow and glow. I put a drop shadow on it. Yeah, that looks quite effective. And then I'm just going to put another bit of text underneath saying online. And this time I think I'm going to use a script font, so like a handwriting font. Let's see what we've got here. There we go. And this time I think I'll go make the font the navy colour and make a white outline which I'm going to make thicker 
Nice. And put the drop shadow on again. And just move it into position. If I want to move it or rotate it a little bit, if I go to this one here underneath the black arrow, use the scale tool, I can also always rotate it a little bit. Let's try the other way. Not so much. I don't like the rotate actually. I think I'm just going to put it back to as it was before. So, there's my Crossy Kilo School online. And just move it where I'm happy. And that is how to make a very simple banner in Macromedia Firework. So I save that in my tutorials folder as banner. And then that is job done. Thanks for listening.